guys, welcome to the Diana Felzone Show. I am Diana Felzone. We are here. You almost fell off the chair. <laughs> I did. That's awesome. We've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. He's been drinking. And no, never mind. Just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, That's true. Uh, welcome to our show today. We have a lot to talk about. I like to call it our version of He Said, She Said. Bill and I have a appeared on a lot of shows together, especially with the Fox family. So I wanted to bring him into the Pal Talk fold. And today I have Bill Schultz. He's a co-host of Red Eye with Greg Gutfeld on Fox News Channel. And you can check that, uh, I believe, at midnight on the West Coast. Midnight West Coast, 3 a.m. Oh, that's awful. I'm uh, so <laughs> time. But that's why you have DVRs. And by the way, thank you for saying he said, she said, instead of she said, she said. Yeah. I figured you would have taken that route, and it was nice of you not to insult me like I that. I would never insult you. I appreciate you. it. So I just want you guys out there, as always, to know that this is highly interactive, and it's about talking amongst the cells. We love to talk here. That's what we do. <laughs> okay. So, you Ray, know that's how you really talk. <laughs> that's how I really talk. I work very hard. I'm just like, downward dog, <laughs> to learn to get rid of my Jersey accent. But, I like uh, the Jersey accent. You like it? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. If you, if you like it, I'll I keep it for you. I love some Egypt, my Jersey girl. All right, baby. Um, for those of you out there, you can raise your pal talk hands. Sonny will be our screener, and he will make sure to get you right away to us, to Bill, to Bill and I. And if you don't, that's okay. You can just text your message, write your message in an IM, and we will answer your questions. So today's focus for all of you is going to be on – are you ready? Drum roll. That was a terrible drum roll. You know what? I am not very uh, gifted, and the sound you'll, you'll never department. be the dude in Police Academy movie sound effect guy. You'll not be that guy. The cat, cat. What is his name? Catman Bob, Bob, cat, I, I Bob love, Cat, Bob love, Cat, something like that. No, 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 no. The black guy who did all the the, oh. the robot sounds <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, let's not start where I try to do those sound effects because it won't sound like anything. You're too young for the '80s reference. I'll be like, this is a coffee machine. Coffee machine, coffee machine, coffee machine. That would be the sound effect. Exactly. <laughs> it's already going to be a great show, I can tell. So today we're doing a He Said, She Said. And we're going to talk about... Now, can you do a drum roll? Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> That's my impression of Diana doing a sound effect. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> yes, exactly. We're going to be speaking about... And I love that you guys are writing, I'm not awake. I'm really <laughs> not awake. Um, oh, we're going. ever been. I know, I've never been. I've never been awake. But what I'm trying to say, guys, for all of you out there, thanks, puppies, is that it's not cool to talk to your ex. I think once your ex is your ex, the past is in the past, and you leave it there. But for some reason, recently, Brad Pitt has been spotted with Jennifer Aniston, and apparently, allegedly, he is... Um, He's using her as a shoulder to cry on because he's having relationship woes with Angelina Jolie. What do you think about this, Bill? What are your sources on this? I, I didn't. I knew he was talking to. Uh... I have. I have pretty reliable sources. All right. Translation: the tabloids do purge. <laughs> yes. But um, no, I'd heard that he'd been talking to uh, Jennifer Aniston, and I'd heard there was some sort of nanny problem with him and uh, Angelina Jolie. Like, she just saw him in the room with the nanny. They might not have been doing anything illicit. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty good friends with all my exes. You are? Yeah. Um, and but... that's that's been a problem in recent -ish relationships, I guess. Okay. But they get over it. But he, I, I think that it's absolutely bad form uh, if you've been – um, engaged, not engaged, I suppose. What was he with Jennifer Aniston? They lived married. together. They were married. Yeah, they were married. They were they married. Were married. They had a house. I'm bad with the pop culture stuff. Yeah, um, they were married. So, yeah, that's bad for him. I mean, we're talking about an ex-wife here, a recent ex-wife. Like, I think that's kind of, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. There's a line he crossed it. But he's so gorgeous, I think he can't cross those lines, right? Right. You can't no. cross those lines. And the, that's why I'm saying that I think you should not be friends with an ex. And today I was on the Mike and Juliet show where I was repping Pal Talk. What up? And they were talking about this. <laughs> so hip hop. Yeah, I know. I'm so street. <laughs> At Main Street, really. Um, but Dr. Keith Ablo was on, and he was saying that there's nothing wrong with being friends with your ex, that if you love someone that intensely, that love just doesn't disappear. And I'm thinking, uh, it should have if you broke up. There's a reason for 
I mean, a breakup and you can love that person platonically, but you have to let them go in order to move on. And I find it going in my face like that. That's better. Oh, are you all right? I'm having troubles with my mic. It's all right. right. Actually, let me, I will preface this by saying, I think it's usually okay, but if you're dating someone um, like Angelina Jolie, it's not okay because she's got the crazy in her. And I just, I would not trust her to react well for you to be friends with your ex. I think in most situations, it's all right. Angelina Jolie is kind of a little bit kook. Okay, so let's re- Do you re- see what I'm saying I here? I see what you're saying. So It you, depends on the girl. It depends upon the personality type. Well, I guess you can put me in, honestly, that that group of crazy girls because I am no, not. Oh, no, no, no. I don't see you as a cutter. I don't see you oh, no, as possibly I... Wiccan. Oh, no. I've always gotten a Wiccan vibe from her. I don't see you as wanting 20 kids. No. Um, I don't see Just you as a... Just 10. Uh, 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 ugh, <laughs> I don't see you as a former heroin addict. There's all these types of crazy in Angelina Jolie. You guys look similar, but that's probably where it goes. Well, thank you for the compliment. We look similar. I don't think so. And you'll, I also get the vibe that you could scratch my eyes out at any moment, and I get that from Angelina, too. <laughs> so you have that in common as well. Oh, well, that is a little crazy, don't no, you No, you're a little crazy. You're just not a lot crazy. <laughs> this is well, just an assessment. Where do we go from here? No, I think that, for me, I would have a very difficult time if my boyfriend was calling his ex-girlfriend to be like, Oh my God, Diana is driving me crazy. She nags me. You know what? We're not, you know, as intimate as we used to be. She always has a headache. And he was telling <laughs> her that. I'd be ticked. I'd be like, why are you going to share such personal information with the girl who could or could not want you back? Like, that just opens up a can of worms that I'm not cool with, Bill Schultz. All right, again, I think there's different levels here. I think. What you said is true. I think the late night phone calls, complaining, yeah, that's that's crossing the line. Mixed mixed areas, groups of friends, they're a part of it. I think that.